Hey guys, Tony Maritato here, a licensed physical therapist. So a great question came in my Facebook Medicare billing group. It was specifically related to patients who have Medicare Part B as the primary and a high deductible supplemental plan in the secondary position. And the question was, how do we estimate what the patient's responsibility is going to be? So first thing is when the claim is submitted. Now right now today, it's January 30th. Assuming the patient has received no other medical claims and you want to submit your claims as soon as possible, what you're going to do is you're going to use the Medicare allowed amount based on the Medicare fee schedule for your area to get a general idea of what the claim value is going to be. You're going to have to account for the MPPR reduction and the sequestration reduction. If you don't know what those are, search through the channel. I've got other videos that talk about them. But really the best way to do this is if you have other claims for other patients where typically we bill similar sequences of codes, similar units based on the treatment that we're delivering. So if I have another patient who I saw earlier in the year and those claims have already processed and I can look at those claims, maybe I did one initial evaluation CPT code, um, two units of therapeutic exercise and one unit of therapeutic activity. If that is what I did with the current patient, I can look at the previous patient and assuming that the claims have already processed, Medicare is giving me the information, including the reductions for MPPR and sequestration. So option number one is you use the Medicare fee schedule and you get as close to an accurate estimate as you can on what you predict the value of the claim to be. Collect that at the time of service. If you collect too much, you would refund the patient once the claim is processed. If you collect too little, you would invoice the patient. But the better option, option number two is go and look at previously processed claims, see what Medicare allows, see what the sequestration and the MPPR reductions are, do the calculation based on what Medicare says the allowed amount is, what the patient responsibility is, and then collect to the penny what you see from those other EOBs. But keep in mind that the way MPPR works is Medicare will pay the full allowed amount on the highest relative value value unit and then everything else gets reduced. So if you're doing different CPT codes or different um, uh, units per CPT code, it might throw off your MPR, MPPR calculation. So just do your best to match up the treatments as closely as possible. I hope that's helpful. If you have more questions, absolutely post them in the comments or consider joining our Facebook group. Thanks for watching.